Hello to Hi Future YouTube channel. Today in short tutorial I will show you how to install phpMyAdmin so you can manipulate MySQL databases. If you <coughs> watch on my previous video, one of them I show you how to install Linux, Ubuntu and connect with the SSH. So I already connect uh, to my SSH um, <coughs> Uh, with my SSH client to my Linux Ubuntu server. You can watch uh, my video if you need uh, this uh, information. Also, I install uh, my MySQL server and my Apache server. This one you can see in uh, the other video which I have uh, how to install Linux Ubuntu with Apache and MySQL. All commands you can see uh, inside. So it's already installed. How you can see, I can uh, access uh, my web server. And uh, in another video, I'll show you that uh, you can control with a very nice uh, graphical user interface using your browser. One application, WebMin, which actually can give you full information about uh, your uh, machine including all servers which are installed and actually you can control uh, every single piece of uh, of the machine like a uh, graphical user interface and the connection is secure so it's pretty safe uh, this one also you can find uh, in my videos uh, in youtube and uh, just to show you linux ubuntu how to install webmin graphic control app with uh, all um, commands which you need uh, to follow and it's uh, it's pretty fast uh, short videos uh, so let's go back to our uh, goal here our goal is to install um, phpMyAdmin and uh, using this one uh, to control our database how is that uh, WebMin is giving you options uh, to control the database server, but not really to uh, fully operate with phpMyAdmin, which is giving a little more uh, control over the database itself. Uh, but this is mostly permissions, uh, connections, uh, backups, starting, stopping the server, something like that. Mostly it's like uh, the server manipulation. So let's uh, let's start. First, we need uh, to go to our um, SSH uh, client, and we will run the command update. Always uh, is good to, uh, to be sure that everything is updated properly. It's done. Now we will use the command to install phpMyAdmin, by default it will go where Apache has been installed. So yes. Now that is very important part. We have to select Apache 2. So we have to click space and we tap going to OK. That's very important. So the installation the installer will be able to install all necessary libraries okay, i'll click uh, enter again now do you want uh, to um, <coughs> install this one we will select yes Password. This is the password which you choose when you install your MySQL server. With tap, you're going to the button OK and space. So you have a different passwords. One of them is for the MySQL root server, the other one is for the PHP ID. Confirmation. And here it is. 
So if everything is, uh, is done correctly, the next step is uh, to reboot uh, our uh, Apache server. This one will command to restart Apache server. This is our web server. And uh, now we have to go to our Apache server and whatever is the IP address is to access it, we will type HP if everything is uh, installed correctly, we will see the user interface of PHP my admin, the username and the password uh, are for the database and the one which we create. So let's say root. This is the database uh, username and password. If you, you if you have a web mean, you actually can give uh, you can create users here just to let you. We have a root. We have a PHP my admin passwords. How you can see the permission? So I use the root password, which will give me uh, all permissions uh, allowed. And here you can create another username and password. To access it with PHP my admin. From PHP my admin you also can create databases and you can create users as well after have been started for the first time. This is everything uh, what I wanted to show you today. So this is how you can install PHP my admin. Uh, maybe in another uh, future uh, video I will show you how to secure so nobody will be able to access PHP my admin folder without username and password. This is everything what I wanted to show you today. Thank you for watching Have Future, how to install PHP MyAdmin on your Linux server. Goodbye.